We're here on the college campus of Clayton State, right? Mm -hmm. Where y'all from? I'm from Atlanta, uh, Southwest Side. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you, bro? Uh, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Buffalo? Really? Mm -hmm. uh, so what's y'all majors? Uh, general business. General business? Psychology. Psychology? All right. So where do y'all see y'all self in five to ten years? Uh, five to ten years. Yep. Uh, settle down. Family. All right. Um, very successful. That's it. That's so you said something about money, right? Yeah, I'm, we gonna be our, having our own companies and stuff like that. Yeah, cool. Y'all believe in God or not yeah, believe in God? Believe sure. God. For real, for real? Sure. Yeah. All right, how can you be so sure he exists? It'd be some situation that I'd be going through that can only be explainable, like with the help of God. Not so exactly sure, but you gotta have faith. Yeah. Just gotta, uh, that's what I grew up on, so that's what that's what I believe. Y'all yeah. believe in heaven and hell? Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know about all that? Mm -hmm. Like that's the that's the basis, but it ain't what I don't it feel like. It, yeah. I feel like that's the like, like it's like, deeper than heaven and hell. It's probably more to it, but you know, I guess that's just what um, that's just what's in the Bible. So that's what people go with. Yeah, I feel like the things that they like taught us. I don't feel like it's like a hundred percent true, like okay. about God, because it was like if it was hundred percent true, then it had to come from my like God mouth. Yeah, I don't know if sure. he's here. I don't know if he's here still. Yeah, so. I got you. Got you, bro. Yeah, I believe in God and shit. Okay. <laughs> no, no. That's all right. I grew up. My whole family was part of a church and, shit and stuff. That's all right, man. My grandfather was a deacon and stuff, so he he um he ta he taught us stuff about yeah. like God and stuff. Like he told us Bible stories and stuff. Yeah, for sure. So I just grew up. <laughs> and I'm like, but they good, they good, they good. That's what y'all think Hitler is right now? Hey, honestly, I, sure. I think. <laughs> Nobody's at fault for their own sins because okay. people only go off what they want, what go they off told. what they yeah. know or what they grew up in. Yeah. So Hitler is not really, I mean, nah, he, really he, at fault. He's a <laughs> I mean, he he's, he's crazy, crazy for what he did, what he did but I don't bro. think it's he, really. He probably his, didn't know no better. That's yeah, what, he didn't he know didn't any better. Talk. He only going off like yeah. the reason he didn't like Jews because he thought. Because he grew up thinking that True. his That's race not was how he was talking. Yeah. yeah. So it's not really technically his fault. Yeah. But you know, everybody got their own opinion. Okay. He yeah. might be up there. Well, let's take, let's just take an earthly judge. All right. Name some of y'all love the most in the whole world. In the whole world. Family. Family, Family right? Yeah. All right. This is how you know hell is real. Let me tell you how you know hell is real. If you think about God in general. Think about the earthly judge. If somebody was to come to your home and took an AK-47 and gunned down your entire family, you expect the judge to do what? Give him life. Yeah. What if the man says, hey man, I didn't really know that was wrong. That That's not gonna be an excuse because he's supposed to figure out what's right and wrong due to living in this world. That's all right. So whose fault is it that he didn't know who was right and wrong? His parents. It's really the system. The not system? Experience. Like it's just the way that everything's set up. Sure. I feel like that you can't get mad at anybody for yeah. nothing that they ever done because everything that they everything they do is a, a learned thing. It, yeah. it, it comes from somebody else. They yeah. nobody comes in here knowing exactly right how to wrong. move, how to yeah. think, how to do how to do things. So it's just. Yeah. Do y'all have any like little brothers, sisters, cousins, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Do you have to teach them how to be, do, be bad? Yes. No. no. You really don't do yeah. it. You really do. Well, you, well, in some ways you do, <laughs> but they actually come out knowing how to what. I mean, they got their own you decision know. making. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they know how to lie. Whether to listen I mean, to it, cause they know how to steal. Some, they decide to listen. That to is them. true, though. Some kids they do come out knowing. They, how to they do. Sin. Like you have to teach them how to be good, but you don't have to teach them how to be what. Bad. You don't have to teach them how to be bad. So, y'all ever heard of the Ten Commandments? Yeah. So, did y'all know that God is gonna use that standard to judge you by based on where you spend eternity? He's gonna use that standard. All right. Dude, would y'all consider yourself to be a good person? Yes, actually. All right. Sure. All right, according to, according to whose standard do you think you're good? Uh, like my own standard. Yeah, like your own standard. Yeah, I'm stamped. Say it again. I'm stamped. All right, let's let's just measure you by the Ten Commandments because I think you guys are cool. Y'all could have just cussed us out or say, "Man, get out of my face!" But y'all are really nice guys. Uh, it's funny how you look. <laughs> <laughs> but see, God ain't gonna judge you based on what I think <laughs> or what you think about yourself because He's the final judge. We all gonna stand before. All right. Yeah. So let me give you the Ten Commandments real quick and see what you think. So I'm not judging you guys, but Ten Commandments is like a mirror to the, your soul. It's gonna determine, it determines what your soul is like. Cause if you go in the mirror in the bathroom, you look at the mirror in the morning time, you wanna figure out what's messed up so you can fix it up. Well, the Ten Commandments is like a mirror to your soul that most people don't really see because they most, most of the time they look at the what? Outside, but not the inside. So, uh, what's tell me your name, 
Gary. Gary, how many lies have you told in your life combined? Ooh, that's crazy. That's crazy. No, that's that's crazy. I told you a lot. A lot. All right. How about you, man? Ten thousand plus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do you call a person that tell a whole bunch of lies? A liar. A liar, right? Yeah. Have you ever stolen something, even if it's small? Oh, for sure. Stolen something. You stolen something. Of course. So, I don't think nobody on this <laughs> earth has never not stolen anything. Stolen something? Yeah, lying thieves. All right, this is going to get all of us here. This is going to get all of us. Here's what Jesus said about adultery. Jesus, Jesus says that you have heard it. It was said that you should not commit adultery. Y'all know what adultery is? I'm married. I got a wife. I think she's fine. But he says, I say to you, if anyone looks at a woman with lust, they commit adultery in their heart. So if you ever had sex out of marriage or watch pornography or... Just watch the girl walk across the campus and had lustful thoughts. The Bible says you're guilty. Just thinking about it. Mm. I'm guilty. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. I'm guilty for sure. So it, it is not that sex is bad. It's just mm. sex is bad outside of what? Marriage. Marriage, right? It's like a fire in the fireplace. But I don't really believe in stuff all like that because like yeah, you should want to do what make you like happy. That's if right. Not, if not, what's the point? That's a good. Yeah. I love what you said that. You should want to do what makes you happy. I was taught that though, but yeah. Um, I don't think I don't nobody really, really wait. Yeah, nobody. Not even the, I feel like you the can't even, um It's just an end of the cycle because yeah, people in my family didn't wait in marriage. Yeah, so I like, know. Like as a child, why should I yeah, do weird. something yeah. that somebody that somebody's yep. telling me to do, but they didn't do their self. So you're saying that if it feels good, do it. Yeah. All right. Now let me just let me just tell you why that may be a fallacy. Because I've talked to a most like I, I went to a prison system, and what this prisoner said is I felt like. What made me happy was raping a bunch of women or killing a bunch of people. So just because it feels good, don't make it necessarily right. You see what I'm saying? We can we can feel like it, you know. So it's because when my happiness impedes on somebody else's makes somebody else's miserable. Is that right? Right. So that's why God says the standard of committing adultery is wrong. Because here's another one. Have you ever used God's name as a cuss word? Oh God. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we said that a lot. That's a cuss word. I said that every sentence. All right. You use your mom's name as a cuss word. Yeah. On my, on my mom. Well, I guess you're right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about it. Let me give you one more. Have you ever had a hate in your heart for somebody? You don't feel like you can hurt them real bad or kill them or bring harm to them? Actually, just... nah. Not real. Nah. Not real. Nah. Never. Honestly, it's not that deep. It don't be that deep. Unless it's bloodshed, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. Really cool. It's just it's goofy stuff. All right. What letter is in the middle of the word sin? All right. All right, so a good definition of sin is I know what God's here to do, but I'm going to do what I want to nah, do. That was crazy. Man. That was <laughs> pretty good, right? You, Everybody live like that, right? You, Everybody do You this. hoop really? that joint up like crazy. <laughs> 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 uh, a lot of people in the, in the church, they do. They, I be, agree. The, they be the, 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 the biggest sinners. I 100% agree. Absolutely. That's why they be in church. <laughs> well, yeah, so they can cover up their mess, right? Look good on the outside. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. So this, I want y'all to think about this. Based on your own admission, this is going to sound harsh, but it's true for our souls. You're liars, thieves, adulterers, blasphemers, right? And we have to, and I'm right there with you, and I, you have to face God on a day of judgment. Did y'all know that every single 24 hours, that 150,000 people die every single 24 hours? I knew that. 150,000 people die every single 24 hours, and each and every one of us have our expiration date on it. It's coming, man. It's coming to a theater near you at some point. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. That's it could you be. Can't really worry about what everybody got to say and all those systems and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. But I want you to think about this. If you stood before God tonight based on His standard, His standard alone, we just went over five of the commandments. Would you, you on a day of judgment? If God just let you come into heaven with no punishment, if He didn't punish you for your sin, if He just let you come in, what kind of God would He be? He wouldn't be a real good guy. Right? Why? Why you say that? Because that's like going word. against the code. Yeah. He has to punish what? Sin. Yeah. If he doesn't punish sin, he won't be a bad judge. You have yeah. any idea what the ultimate punishment is? Absolutely. It's sinning against the right. Who killed? You have any idea who killed Jesus? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get that far into the Bible yet. Who, who who's responsible for Jesus going to the cross? Uh, that's them, uh, them, uh, <laughs> what you got? Um, See y'all laughing. You got it. Where you see now? Nah, I had it. But it's, it's, it's multiple other people too. Why did he go to the cross? Uh, oh, for us. Yeah. So who put him there? 
us? Yes. Oh, no, we're responsible crazy. for putting him there. You see what I'm saying? That's like, that's like them. Yeah, that ain't nothing. That's them. Yeah. It was us. <laughs> so, so here's my question. You don't want him paying for yours? Is it your scene? Nah, cause like, it ain't no point. Why would he pay for something that I did? I know. That's exactly right. But the, the fact of the matter, the Bible does say he's paid for man's sin. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But think about this. Name somebody you love the most in the world. If a assassin came to kill your mom or your family, you expect the judge to do what? I don't expect him to do nothing. Send him off? What if this man that's killed your, your mom put his hand on your shoulders and says, hey, it's got to be something I can do to pay you off. I'll pay your tuition, buy you a new car, put money in your bank account. Would you accept the payment and let him walk free? I accept the payment. <laughs> I accept the and payment. And you still get him. Take him to wherever this is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good, right? But you'll make sure he gets what he deserves. Yeah, sure. But he couldn't pay you enough to walk free. All right. Who killed Jesus? Uh, we did. Yeah. So how much good do you think you could pay God off in order to get into heaven after you killed his son? I don't know, but really, everything happened for a reason, so you really can't even say that. What are we talking about for you in general? How much good do you think you can pay God off and walk into heaven after you kill his son? Not enough. Uh, yeah, not it's, enough. Not enough. it's not enough. So where are you going to spend eternity right now based on what we, what we talked about? Based, based on what we talked about? here or hell. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, the bad news is right now, based on God's standard, you guys are in trouble on the day of judgment.